Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about contacts, discussion, board, and email. So I'm going to go ahead and go into contacts. So I'm going to click on contacts, and I'm going to leave this area. And you can go ahead and edit this. So this is the way in which you can edit your name, um, put in, you know, your name, your first name, your last name, your email address, your work number, and then, you know, your location, which is University of Maryland School of Social Work. And so that's the contact information. When it comes to discussion board, the way you, what you can do is you can go ahead and you can set up different forums. So there's a way where you can go ahead and you can put general course questions. You can put in discussion issues, discussion one, those type of things. That's how you would do that. When you go into the actual forum that's created, that's where people can go ahead and they can answer your questions that are there. So you can go ahead, you can also create threads if you want to be able to create threads to have more of a tabular format. But the way to, way to go ahead and do that, so let me go ahead and go back to the discussion board just so you can see how you would just create um, a main topic. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create forum. And I'm just going to put um, module one. So on module one or class one, and then I can go ahead and I can put my question or whatever it is that I want students to be able to ask. So I'm going to put like to be or not to be or is it? And then you can go ahead and then for module one or class one, you could have your question or questions and then they could just go into module one and they can post their answer. So they can create a thread, they can create a thread and they can put um, whatever it is. What I would do is when they're replying to threads is make sure that they, you know, you can make it clear what it is they're trying to respond to. So they can say, you know, blah, 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 and then they can respond to it. And then you can see what a thread actually looks like. You can see that I I went ahead and you can see that my name's here and I'm answering the question. So it's really easy to be able to create discussion questions. And so going back, you can see kind of what it looks like. You can have general course questions, technical issues, discussions, tests, and those type of things. And then you can go into email. So email is really important. Email is really good. So if you want to email like all your students, you can go in here. You click on all students. And then, um, so I should be able to go all students. I don't know why I didn't do that. Awesome. Okay, so we don't have any students enrolled. So unfortunately you can't see it right there, but you would just click on all students. And then we'll see if I have instructors. Okay, so we have all instructors, so it will look the same. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to click on all instructors. I'm going to do test. And I can go ahead and I can send this out. So what's going to happen is if you have all students, it'll be the same way as it is instructors. It'll have all the people's names there. It's a really easy way to be able to go ahead and set that up so that you have, you have that. Now, the other thing that's really good, too, when talking about communication are announcements. So when we have announcements that are set up, if you have an announcement that's here that I went ahead and I posted, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on edit. I can go ahead and I can also send this out as an email. So that's another really cool feature to be able to have that. So I can put here, send a copy of this announcement, and then I hit submit. And then this goes out. So I can go ahead. There's a couple ways to do this. You can go straight to email. If there's some concern that you want to be able to put, you can create your announcement and then make sure that it's sent out via email. You can have discussion boards, and then you also want to make sure your contact is up to date. And that is communication. Thank you so much.